Hello, friends and gamers. My name is Jinx. Welcome to Operation Hats, July 1937. I'm playing the German turn number three. I've been struggling with a bit of a cold. You can hear it in my voice. I'm a little phlegmy. Gonna stumble over my words a little bit. It's been nuts. I've had this major sinus headache that has kept me in bed, basically debilitated, incapable of doing anything for the last two days. It's been crazy. But today I'm on the mend. Things are looking up and uh, everything is going okay. So, so far anyways. Let's dive into the German turn, starting with the turn summary of what went to happen in the past turn in uh, January 1937. Starting with the Germans. Germany just simply annexed Bohemia and uh, built up a couple of units, and that's about it. Nothing too much for the Germans. Moved some ships around, that's about it. The Nationalists, Spain, they went and captured Madrid, and uh, that's basically it for them. Turning to the Republicans, they moved their forces from eastern Andalusia to Catalonia, and stacked up some forces there too with the anti-aircraft gun. Again, both of us got lucky with our recruitment rolls. So now we have a sizable force in Catalonia and not sufficient forces on my end to make a, make an attack there. We have an anti-aircraft gun, a fighter, and medium bomber. So it's going to be quite a challenge for me to even crack that nut right now. Anyways, turning from them to the Russians to see what the Russians did. Again, just building up some forces here and there um, in, in, in the usual spots of like up there in Finland, Transcaucasus. Right now, they don't have much of an income. They sent it over to the Spanish uh, Republicans, so that you don't see any new units on the board. A little bit of maneuvering over here with a stronger point here in Chita, but beyond that, nothing too much special going on. We see the Japanese have been, again, stacking up some forces in Rihi, perhaps for a, uh, a launch into attack against the Northern Warlords. Their navy sits over here. Nothing too much. All the major maneuverings occurred in the past turn. While we're looking at this side of the map, let's take a look at the KMT forces. They've gradually shifted their forces into Kwai Chao, away from the coastline, Basically welcoming an attack from the Japanese, if that's what the Japanese, if that's the direction the Japanese wish to go at this point. Um, so that will be interesting for them for sure. And uh, so they've stacked themselves up in Kwai Chao, ready to launch counterattacks or withdraw into the interior if, that, if that's what they choose to do so. so that's going to be interesting. Moving to the Anzac forces, their transport moved along to uh, British Malaysia over here. And apart from that, they've just uh, you know been chilling a little bit. I think they've gathered all their militia here in Sydney. And uh, as for forces in Malaysia, I think it's just a transitory position as they have shifted their forces from Hong Kong um, over to Calcutta. It looks like everything is moving in the direction of Calcutta. As well as some forces from uh, South Africa moving up to southern India. This colonial infantry was built in South Africa and moved here via this FEC transport. So that's interesting to see. Uh, just basically a lot more concern for the, uh, the Pacific portion of the Allies than they are for the Western and the British kind of side of things right now. We see a militia built here in Aden. The Italians moved and established themselves in a stronger position here in Italian Somaliland with a minor fleet. The French have a transport here off the coast of French Somaliland. Looks like they're building up some forces here as well, perhaps hoping that these don't go vichy with those two units there, the medium bomber and the infantry there. Nothing much going on in South Africa over here, uh, anti-aircraft gun. Again, is that going to head over to this side of the world? We're not too sure. The Syrian forces here are, were transiting towards French Somaliland, at least this foreign legion was. So we're going to see which direction those continue to go so. And uh, the British fleet kind of gathers in the Mediterranean and doesn't do too much otherwise. The Germans are on their way to parts unknown so far. Italians have coalesced their fleet in the Mediterranean as well. And that basically rounds up what everybody's up to. Just kind of a staging position for everybody so far. Nothing too dramatic has moved on the board. The British have moved their fleet over to A28 into the Bay of Biscay, kind of shadowing the bulk of where the German fleet is, kind of moving along where they're, they're at. And apart from that, that's about it. The French have set their strong position in, uh, looks like, Aquitaine and Paris. And that's basically it nothing too much it's it's pretty early days here in the war that's only the second turn so now we move on to the third german turn starting with our purchases here two cavalry one nationalist cavalry and one german submarine that is a total of 12 13 40 15 bucks leaving us with nine bucks left over there we have it and now what do we do for combat moves well let's turn our attention here to the nationalists they are going to do a combat move. I've checked with my opponent to see if they want to scramble their aircraft, but we're sending in two fighters and two infantry into eastern Andalusia, hoping to take them out with no casualties at all. He decides he's not going to scramble his forces, so we're just going to conduct this battle. And I believe that's it for combat moves, apart from an annexation in Slovakia here. Which we'll just do that. Um, while we did that, we're going to quickly adjust our income here, bumping up the Germans to 24, and our opponents here... Uh, the British to 14 and the French to 9. So that we don't forget that right away. All right, diving into this attack into Eastern Andalusia. I haven't set up any dice. These are probably from previous combats. Let's just delete them all. We have two infantry coming in at 1s and two fighters in at 6s. 
let's roll these guys out right away. Before we roll our opponents, uh, our attacking forces. So, not a single hit on our end. That's bad news for us. Maybe this militia will actually succeed quite handsomely in taking us out. Oh, almost. They got a three there. But we've survived to round two. He has another chance at scoring a hit against us. One hit. One hit. That's from our fighter. Let's see if his militia scores on the second roll. Nope. No luck. All right. So we take his militia off the board. I'm going to clone this here. And our fighters are going to land back in, uh, in this portion of the map. Okay. Let's continue with some non-combat moves in this side of the world. We're going to move uh, from Western Andalusia to Madrid, one infantry. From uh, Galicia and Leon, we're going to send one infantry to Basque Country and one cavalry over to Madrid. Yeah. I think that's what we'll do. Yeah. That about tidies us up for what we want to do in this neck of those. Actually, you know what? Basque Country still goes to Madrid. I'll leave it at that. Yeah. So, uh, that's the situation over here. Okay. I lend these arrives over here. That way we tidy them up completely. Turning our attention to this side of the globe, we're going to replace our neutral units here with a couple of regular dudes. And a fighter. So, this Slovakian fighter is going to go over to join our air forces in Hiroskop A over in western Germany. And our two infantry from Slovakia is going to rail over to, I suppose, to Bavaria. And we're going to send our two cavalry from Berlin down to Bavaria as well. Put some pressure here on the Alsace-Lorraine front. Okay. And now we uh, <clears throat> turn our attention to the sea stuff. We have a couple ships to move. Our battle cruiser and submarine can move three spaces. So that's going to be one, two, into the Red Sea over here, which I believe is I-5. And then we have our ships come here from A-28. We're going to move one, two, three. Let's go to A-45 over here. A-45 and our fleet that's parked up here in sea zone A-21. One, to position here to A35. And then we have another submarine here in A11, 1, 2, 3, and 4. It goes to A28. Okay, and now we go to put our units on the board. In A11, we put down a submarine. And in Bavaria, we put down two uh, cavalry into uh, this area here. And that about concludes it for the Germans, except for their tech rolls. So let's turn our attention to the tech rolls here. Going down, down, down to here. It's these puppies here. Now, we're going to roll for, amph uh, not Amphibious Doctrine. Improved Construction, which is a 7. Advanced Subs, which is an 8. So we're going to put that off to the side. Mechanized Infantry, Advanced Artillery, we've already got to. So we're going to put that over here for now. Um, there's one other one that we wanted to do. Long Range Aircraft. Which is going to be the green one. Alright, now we're going to roll for this. These are sevens that we need to hit. So both of these say six, six and six. So we missed on those two. That's advanced mechanized and improved construction. And in these ones we need to hit eight. So we've had poor luck so far. Hopefully these guys change the, the options there for us. There's a 9, and this one's an 8. So we have succeeded in 2. So advanced subs go up 1, and then long-range aircraft would go up by 1. So, you know, 2 for two for out of 4, 50%, with them being the harder ones, that's not too bad. So we've gone up 2 there. These ones, it's unfortunate, on 3 turns, not making any successes at all. Um, but it is what it is. You know, we have to perhaps change our... Change the way we hold the dice, perhaps. All right. Um, now we go to a collect income. That leaves us... Okay, my brain's not going to work. 34 bucks. 25 plus, uh, 24 plus 9. No. 24 plus 9. 
son of a gun, my brain isn't thinking correctly. So if we if we add one, that would be eight left over, yeah, 33. So that should be correct. Somebody could correct me if I'm wrong. 33 bucks on the subsequent turn. Yeah, 24 plus nine, six, yeah, 33. Yeah, that's right. And that concludes the German turn number three. Next off, we pass things over to our opponents here in the Russian theater, see what they have to say for themselves and see how the situation goes here in, um, in Spain. Thank you all for watching and talk to you all later. Cheers.